my breakfast. Put Nathan and it just makes everything better. I'm just on the way to pick up my sister. We're heading out to our friend Amanda's baby shower today and it's a lovely day for it. We're heading down to South East London. Um, I think the venue is near Tower Bridge. Now, if you're not from London, um, Tower Bridge is like a famous bridge that everyone always thinks is actually London Bridge, but it isn't, it's Tower Bridge. I'll show you later uh, if we pass it. So Dick's actually picked the venue and it's down by the River Thames. So it'd be quite nice to, uh, you know, sit outside with a glass of wine, catch up with the girls. I'm just outside waiting for my sister to come out and yes, this is my breakfast. I'm eating it in the car because I was rushing this morning. I just didn't have time to eat. And when I'm telling you, I was in the shower at seven o'clock this morning and it's now half 10. And it just took me ages, it took me ages to get ready. Mind you, in between, I did feed Chloe, change her nappy and all that. After I pick up my sister, we're gonna pick up Amanda's cake and then pick up another friend and then we're gonna head down there. Okay, so I'm just on the way uh, to pick up the cake. I hope they've done it right, oh my God. Ooh. Can you see it? Oh, cute! It's like, look at the baby bum and the face. I oh, like little shoesies, little feet. feet. It's How's that? a girl. Cool. Nice. I like the little bum. Look. Because <laughs> no, because I was telling them earlier how uh, we're heading down this way, and how a lot of people think that this is London Bridge, oh, but it's yeah. actually Tower Bridge. Yeah, yeah. That's true. So this is Tower Bridge. This is so pretty. So we're here at the um, Browns in Butler's Wharf. Oh, it's such a nice venue. Look at behind me, look at the view. Isn't that pretty? Such a nice place. So we're just gonna set up now. This thing will set up and now we're gonna eat. Father's Day to all the dads and granddads out there. Just on the way to meet Steve because we surprised him earlier with a massage. He had no clue where we were taking him. I got him a massage called Musselies, which is especially for gym goers. So they hopefully have, that worked. They have forever rushing. wonders for him. So we're just going to meet him now, and then we're going to uh, meet my family for some lunch. We're going to Basaba. I mentioned it in the last vlog. Um, the restaurant that I like going to. Uh, that I haven't been in ages actually, so I'm really excited for that. I'm just gonna treat my dad and Steve to some lunch. And yeah, that's our day. I wonder if he's finished yet. I did an hour massage for Nathan and his new friend. <laughs> You're right, Chloe. We need to get you changed, don't we? She was asleep when we left the house, so she's still in her gym jams. Okay, let's go and see if he's finished. Dad, how was it? It was 
<laughs> she said you fell asleep. Yeah. If I snored, and you, I'm sorry. And she was snoring. Every, everybody sleeps in there and everybody snores in there. I thought, I thought, why am I not getting asleep? And then all of a sudden I was like... Well, if you didn't, I'd probably... <laughs> no, no, I, no, I did. <laughs> I could hear you, Michelle. Morning everyone. Morning. Say morning everyone. We've just come back from dropping Nathan off to school and Chloe's just woken up from her nap. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> no. No. Oh no. <coughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> that song just makes everything better. Go round and round. Round and round, round and round. So I'm going to try this new thing today because um, we are getting ourselves holiday ready. Uh, we've got probably about six weeks uh, until we go away. I thought I could hear her on the monitor. Uh, we've got about six weeks until we go away. So I'm going to try this thing called Footna. Basically, these are exfoliating socks. It's supposed to give you baby soft skin. So I'm all about that. Don't get me wrong, my feet aren't like dry. Like luckily I don't have cracked heels or anything like that. Um, I do have, don't worry, I'm gonna spare you <laughs> footage of my feet. Um, but basically, let me just describe it to you. I have hard skin on the balls of my feet, but I wanted to try it because who doesn't want baby soft skin? Do you know what I mean? My workmates tried this and um, said that it worked amazingly. Steve's already done his and when I'm telling you, his skin is peeling like a snake. He gets such satisfaction from peeling like large chunks of skin off his feet. Anyway, just inside this box you get, um, they're, they're like socks that, is, that has gel inside and uh, you wear it for an hour and then just wash it off. And then apparently within a few days your skin starts to peel like your skin doesn't start to peel instantly it will take a few days to do so so i'm gonna do this now whilst i do work i am trying my best like i'm not gonna lie it's a struggle to to film and edit and upload as regularly as i wanted to i'm i'm here all day by myself you know i look i look after the baby by myself and I'm on her time. I can't just do as I please, you know. I, I, when she, the only time I have is when she's asleep. And when she's asleep, that's the time that I can do stuff for me. And usually that means feeding myself. Do you know what I mean? That's the only chance I get to eat, to go to the toilet, to do a bit of housework. And as much as I thought I'd be able to do this, it, it's tough. If you watch vlogs, you all must know Judy and, and Benji, you know, on It's Judy's Life. I don't know how she does it because she has three kids under the age of two and she's doing this on a daily basis. So my hat goes off to her, do you know what I mean? I don't even have to have time to put on makeup, to put, to, 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 you know, look decent. And to be honest, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna always look shit on camera. Do you know what I mean? Who, who wants to look shit? When you take a photo of yourself, you don't take a photo of yourself not looking decent. Well, I don't anyway, do you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say is I enjoy doing this. Just bear with me. So plan for today is I'm gonna do an hour of wedding stuff, um, an hour or two of editing a video, because I haven't uploaded it in a while and that's not good. And also um, an hour of packing, because it's coming up so close. It's coming up so quickly and I'm starting to feel a little bit panicky, you know? So I'm gonna make myself feel better by um, starting to pack clothes stuff. I've been buying stuff for her over the last few weeks. She just tried on her um, 
first sewing costume the other day so cute I'll, I'll try and stick a picture here for you and uh, yeah, I just find that if I set myself time deadlines, like an hour, like if I'm to start a task at nine o'clock and stop what I'm doing exactly at 10 o'clock, I find that I get more things done, you know? I'm more productive, I'm less inclined to get distracted by my phone, you know, get my phone and start scrolling on Facebook and Instagram and all that. So if I give myself a time, dead a time deadline, then yeah, I just, I'm just more productive like that. If you get easily distracted and, you know, have a hard time on focusing, you know, try that method. I mean, even if it's like a half an hour deadline to do a task, do you know what I mean? Uninterrupted, just solid work, bang it out, bang, 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 you'll get things done. I'm just putting together some of Chloe's clothes now to stick in the wash and I just wanted to show you this because it's so cute. I bought this from I bought this from Mother Care. It's um the Mylene Class collection. And uh, I just thought it was so cute. Look, it even comes with matching pants. We've got date night tonight. Yummy. Faux flowers that look ooh. 